where Yule was battling that cancer for 13 months. His colleagues told me that he was battling that cancer through so much bravery and dignity. But like you mentioned, this is known throughout the firefighting community that this is a risk if you join in on this profession. Firefighters are aware they're in the crosshairs of that type of cancer, super prevalent on the job, which is why the fire department, they're working to try to reduce the risk of getting that cancer in the first place. Scottsdale's fire chief's firefighting nephew died from cancer five years ago, and the fire chief says he knows of other cases in the Scottsdale Fire Department. Take a listen. We have currently uh, four additional cancer uh, diagnoses inside the department and that worries me a lot. And guys, unfortunately, this is something that they are just trying to catch up to in the past. Uh, the risk just wasn't known and wasn't there, so now they're trying to find ways to mitigate uh, what could happen yet again. On to uh, Captain Corey Yule's procession. Starts at 11.30, as Gina mentioned. He will be laid to rest at 1 o'clock, and we will have continuing coverage right here on Arizona's Family. Scott, Tess. All right.